graceful, charming and extremely attractive. With their neon bright colours and trimmed stripes, they are among the most popular photo subjects in tropical waters. There is hardly a marine creature that is captured on film as frequently as the anemone fish. There are 27 types of anemone fish and all of them live within a sea anemone. Each type of fish prefers a specific kind of anemone. Without the anemone, the small fish would not be able to survive, so they seldom stray more than two meters away. Both animals, the fish and the anemone, live in a symbiotic relationship. So when the anemone moves, the anemone fish move with it. The stinging cells of the anemone are very toxic, but the fish have nothing to fear. They are immune to this poison. While the fish are still very young, they are practically embalmed by the anemone in a special kind of slime. This slime contains a substance which prevents the stinging cells from discharging. When threatened, anemone fish find safety among the stinging tentacles of the anemone. For their part, the anemone fish also protect their host. They vigorously defend the anemone from potential attackers that seek to feed upon its tentacles any intruder that comes too close to their community. Though small, anemone fish are fearless little fellows and will even take a nip at divers who approach their residence. At first glance, all anemone fish look pretty much alike. The different types can be told apart by the amount and the location of these stripes. However, even in a single species, the stripes can differ. So this means of identification can be tricky, as the stripes can change with a fish's age and can vary depending upon its environment. What you're about to see next is an extremely rare occurrence. Although normally any fish would be vigorously chased away, this juvenile banner fish seems to have been adopted by the anemone fish and lives peacefully among them. He even seems to have taken on the way they move about. A more common phenomenon with anemone fish is the way they reproduce. They can change sex as required. The largest fish in a colony is a female and is the boss. The second largest is a mature male. All other residents are males in various stages of sexual development. In every possible way, the two bigger fish prevent all smaller ones from further growth. Should the female die, her surviving partner will change from male to female and become the new boss. The best developed of the remaining males then becomes fully mature and takes his place as the dominant male. 